Now for the purposes uh, of using uh, this kind of model in DDO uh, I'm going to uh, apply some materials to this uh, model although it's not really uh, necessary to do that because you can go around uh, this step but uh, I'm going to show uh, both ways so first of all I'm going to just press Control V on the keyboard and make a copy of this one then just isolate it and I'm going to ungroup it and attach everything together so control A attach now we have all the parts attached together as one model so going out of the isolation mode I'm also going to select the grouped version and ungroup it and let me just isolate it and then uh, you just have to go into your uh, quick cell DDO folder and under swatches you have this FBX file which you can um, copy onto your hard drive or just uh, move it click on it and move it to max and you can import file, link file or cancel. I'm going to import file and now you can just click on the canvas to position it and now you have all these materials that come with DDO in max and just pressing M on the keyboard to open the material editor select an empty uh, material and then just here click on pick material from object and just click on the these balls that you just uh, imported from DDO Quixel uh, folder map now you have all these materials in your material uh, editor and you can also delete these balls and now it's all about uh, just clicking selecting uh, a separate part of the model and applying a uh, material that you like to it. I'm not going to just uh, be uh, precise but as you can see here you have a bunch of uh, really uh, different materials and just click on the name uh, and drag it onto the uh, onto the model and I'm just uh, quickly doing this because I um, I'm not really uh, interesting, interested in applying um, applying specific material to a specific part because you can al always um, change the specularity and glossiness of the m these materials in DDO. Uh, the main purpose is to apply different uh, materials to these parts so you can generate uh, diffuse map that has uh, material IDs uh, embedded into it so let me just show you how you can do that just go out of the isolation mode and select the low poly version and then uh, under modifier just uh, apply projection uh, modifier to it oops projection modifier to it and then just under pick list select everything uh, from the separated uh, model and then just add it and under cage click on shade it and just slightly uh, increase the amount so it's all covered uh, you cannot really uh, see here uh, if it's covered or not maybe you can on your model uh, but really be careful when um, pushing this amount because it's going to uh, affect your baking so just press 0 on the keyboard while you have your low poly version selected and under projection mapping enable projection and then just uh, you already picked the the parts before so just under output I'm going to add uh, diffuse map and here under path I'm going to just um, 
tell Max where I want this uh, to be placed and then just select the size of it and as before I'm using 2048 and then just render it out but before you do that you have to make sure you have uh, appropriate um, you have appropriate uh, render uh, software selected assigned renderer and you should have uh, default scanline renderer or it's going to crash if you have V-Ray and now just uh, render out and it's going to look something like this and these um, red parts uh, represent the cage was not uh, large enough but you can fix this afterwards in uh, Photoshop and also you get this uh, kind of deformations seen here which I don't really like so I just sometimes especially in models like this where you have different parts overlaying each other I just use a separate uh, a different method to apply material IDs to different parts of this model so another thing you should consider is uh, you should uh, apply unwrap UV modifier again and open it and then just uh, under tool render UV template let me just reposition it tool render UV template and use the same value for the height and width at, as before uh, I just normally untick show overlap and seam edges and render UV template and then just uh, save it uh, as a UV map uh, as a TIFF UV map just name it battle stick 01 UV map dot diff and 8 bit color is going to do ok and that's pretty much it another thing you should consider is uh, when you are going to when we are going to be using uh, this model in DDO uh, as a preview mesh uh, it has to be exported from Max in a in a specific way because it's not going to uh, show up uh, correct else so just select uh, I just selected the low poly version uh, which has all the parts attached together and then under modifier I just use tessellate modifier and operate on polygon and face center and if we zoom in you can see it ad added additional lines to the model and then just export selected as an OBJ uh, leaving everything uh, as we did before OBJ OBJ and I just name it uh, Battlestick Tessellated so I know it's a tessellated version so uh, uh, afterwards you can uh, delete this modifier and your model is uh, still untouched which is really nice.